Rob Wright, we're almost halfway through the 2014 ANZ Championship season. How can you assess the Swifts um, start to the season? Uh, certainly happy with where we are, like 4-1 and one is where we thought we probably should be um, because we know we're coming into a very tough part of the draw. Um, so those points on the board early is really critical. Now it, now it gets tough. Having had that strong start, had the bye last week, as a coach, is that a help or hindrance? I think in regards to where we were in our season and in regards to our injuries, it was a real help to us. We, we needed that break just to get a couple of players right, get, some, get them over their niggles and it came at the perfect time for us. This Sunday the Swifts continue their campaign against the Melbourne Vixens who were very impressive against the Firebirds on Monday. Yeah they were very impressive. I watched the game on television and I was mightily impressed with how well they played. Uh, to keep a team like the Firebirds to just 38 goals is impressive. Um, and their possession loss count was really low as well so they were firing at both ends. History shows the Swifts do have a good record against the Vixens. Now as head coach, do you put any weight to those statistics? Uh, no, I don't. I, I think they're, in particular, we're a very different team to what we have been previously. I think both teams match up really well because I, I think in some regards we play very similar styles of netball. Always uh, a very skillful game. It's quick, it's fast, it's mobile, with good defence and attack. So uh, I think that's why they're always good contests. Talking about those matchups, they've got the number one defensive pairing um, in the league at the moment. Our shooting end's going very well as well this year. Intriguing battle. Yeah, and, and I think I put it in for this week as something I think is going to be the real key is um, their defence end versus our, our attack end. Uh, I think both are firing and, yep, you're right, they're the best defence in the league and the Vixens have been the best defensive team in this competition probably for the last couple of years along with the Magic. So um, it's going to be an, it is going to be an intriguing battle and uh, it's going to be one to, very exciting to watch. You've highlighted Tegan Caldwell as the player to watch in this particular game. What do you guys need to do to shut her down? Oh, look, she, she has been really impressive the last couple of weeks. I think her performance has been outstanding. So um, it's very clever, it's mobile, heavily involved in their attacking play, obviously has a good shot as well, but it does a mile of work in defence as well. So to me, it's about making sure we limit her impact on, on the game and if we can do that, it gives us a, a good shot to being competitive in this game. Now in the professional era in netball, you see players moving between teams. There's always something special when teams from New South Wales play teams from Victoria. Yeah, and I think it is the the the, the ultimate battle um, in netball. I think they're the, the we're the two biggest states, probably the the two states that have probably been around the longest, and they've just been great battles, match after match. Um, and I just think they have such rich history, both states, and I, I love it. Like I think it's the the contest everyone wants to see. Sonia McLoma took a knock and came off against the Pulse. Um, have you got an update on Sonia and also Brooke Miller? Good, good news on Son, like she will be fine for the weekend, so um, I always like delivering some good news. Um, Brooke, we're still assessing, so we, we have training today. We'll assess how she goes today and make a call on her tomorrow for the weekend. Another full house this Sunday. Um, they play such an important part in any game. Do you have a message for the guys this weekend? Oh, look, I'm just so impressed with our members and fans. Like They're turning out in such huge numbers. It's just fantastic. Like We love playing at home, and when it's a full house like it's going to be on Sunday, just can't wait, and the players can't wait.